Hi, I'm James, and in this video, I want to reveal to you the absolute best job in the world. And the fact remains, almost no one knows that it even exists. And I'm going to be straight with you right now. This is not some get-rich-quick, scammy, overnight, money-making scheme. If that's what you're looking for, go ahead and close this page out right now. Now, imagine a job where you're able to work your own hours when you want and as little as just five hours per week. Imagine making anywhere from $200 to $600 in a single shift. We're talking over $100 per hour. And all the while, you are loving what you do and having the time of your life. It sounds too good to be true, right? Well, this job is what I have personally been doing myself for the past four and a half years, and I still passionately love every single second of it. So what is this dream job? It's called mobile bartending, and it's what I do full-time. In fact, it's not really a job at all. You don't need to worry about the headaches of preparing a resume, fibbing about your past work experience, and getting denied time and time again by hiring managers. Whether or not you've ever worked in a bar or restaurant, you probably know that the money can be very good, but it is hard work. You have the long hours, the bad shifts, the rude customers, and of course, those intolerable managers. Well, four years ago, that was me. I was a bar back at a local hotel restaurant, and I still to this day have nightmares about the stressful shifts that I worked. I thought being a bartender was going to be something cool. I'd, I'd be the man with the power behind the bar. I'd command everyone's attention, and they'd all come to me with requests for delicious cocktails and concoctions. Yet, after being denied job after job, despite my special bartending school diploma, I was literally forced to take a position as a lowly barback just so I could stay afloat. Does this sound like you? My weekend nights were spent running around, taking orders, lifting heavy boxes, cleaning up spills, messes, and trash, plus I was dealing with those lovely drunk customers. Was this the dream I had in mind when I first imagined myself behind the bar? I'd spent over $600 at bartending school to learn over 400 recipes and master each one with speed and efficiency. Why was I stuck doing this grunt work? Well, one night everything changed for me in an instant. Somehow I found myself conned into working a small bridal shower party for a good friend of my mom's. Now I say conned because I was not getting paid. I was working on my only day off and I was working the entire scene by myself. It wasn't until the end of the night when the host handed me $100 cash. The light bulb went off. Now, $100 isn't much, but in the scheme of things, I had only poured drinks for about 12 women for less than three hours. And to be honest, it was actually really fun. I'd put on my witty charm and entertain the women until they were literally eating out of the palm of my hand. And by the end of the three hours, not only was I the main contributing factor to the overall success of this party, but I felt like I was simply one of the guests. I wasn't treated disrespectfully, I didn't have to put up with a rude manager telling me what to do, and I wasn't rushed or swamped cleaning up messes and moving heavy boxes. Did I just get paid $100 to party? And more importantly, could I do this again? The answer was yes, and the rest was history. Now, tell me this, have you ever experienced something in your life that just lights a fire inside of you and no matter what gets in your way, you are compelled to move forward and play all out? That's exactly how I felt at this moment, and that's exactly what happened. In just a few short months, I was booked every single weekend, and I was raking in the cash. I was bartending at some of the most exciting parties and events that I've ever experienced, from weddings, celebrity birthdays, corporate events, and many more. Oh yeah, and yes, I was making enough money to throw in the towel and quit that job as a bar back. Ladies and gentlemen, I was officially self-employed. My phone was ringing off the hook and I was making anywhere from $300 to $600 a night and beyond in any single event. And as my business grew, I started profiting from hiring additional staff members and renting equipment to my guests. And today, nothing has changed. I have completely systematized my entire bartending and event staffing business. I have a staff of over 12 bartenders and servers, and I still, to this day, walk home with a big, fat wad of cash in my pocket and ask myself the question, 
did I just get paid to have the time of my life? Think about it. As a bartender, you're sold on the dream of being the life of the party, the center of attention, and the man or woman who controls the flow of the liquor. But what you're not told is that bartending at a bar or restaurant can be one of the most stressful and physically demanding jobs that you can ever have. You're running around at full throttle for four to six hours trying to keep everyone from your guests to your servers happy. The money may be good right now, but is this really the career choice we've settled for for the rest of our lives? On top of that, trying to break into the bartending scene can be one of the most challenging things ever. There's literally a line of servers and barbacks waiting like hungry sharks for that position to open up. Face it, bartending isn't what it's all cracked up to be. Mobile bartending, on the other hand, is. For the first time, you can create a job on your terms. Be your own boss, charge what you want, work for who you want, and enjoy every single minute of it without dealing with all the BS of a normal bartending job. Oh, and you get paid way more for working way less. What else could you ask for? So the question remains... Why wouldn't you become a mobile bartender? Well, chances are you just wouldn't know where to start. And that's where I come in. 